Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, if you've been here for a while, you know I like to get creative. Very hands-on, I do a lot of decorate with me's, I do some crafting, and that's exactly what this video is going to be about. This is going to be a DIY on how to make this hygiene potion soap dispenser. Although, one quick side note, yes, I know I spelled hygiene wrong, but I think it adds character. And as a journalist, it really does pain me to admit that I spelled something wrong. So, don't be like me and spell it wrong. So, if you'd like to see exactly how I made this from start to finish, just keep watching. So, what you're going to need for this project is whatever bottle you plan on painting. I've already taped this off with painter's tape, so you will also need painter's tape, depending on what you want painted and what you don't want painted. Some parchment paper, it does not have to be this big. I'm actually only gonna use a tiny bit of this, really, and I may use a lighter to burn the ends or the edges. I'm still debating that. Some Mod Podge, if it will focus. Mod Podge. Whatever color paint you want, I'm using this metallic green paint since I already had it um, for a different project. A little brush, um, I should say sponge brush, to kind of tap it on. I'm also going to experiment with an actual brush brush, but I have a feeling that this is going to work better for my purposes. And any other decor you want to add to it, I picked up this garland from Michaels. Uh, because I wanted to use some adhesive to glue some little leaves to the bottom and kind of possibly trailing up the sides of the bottle, which means you also need some other type of adhesive. Um, just one moment. I would recommend E6000. And I actually found some very, excuse me, some very small tubes of this, which is a lot easier to handle and a lot less of a mess. So, with that, let's get started. I will say that right now I'm doing this mostly through trial and error. Is there perhaps an easier way to do this? Yes, however, I wanted to use stuff, or I should say paint, that I already had. And I already had Mod Podge and I already had paint. You could probably do this with a, um, I know there's um, spray paint that is that gives you that um, aged green glass look, but I wanted to see if this would work since I'd had some success in something similar with my uh, coffee bar jars. So, just poured a small amount of the Mod Podge and we just need enough to tint it. Oh, that's, give me a second, I need to shake this up. Okay, let's hope this works. Yes, okay. All right, so just a little bit. Now I'm just gonna Mix it up. Just need this nice kind of soft green. I still want it to dry relatively clear. So I don't want to add too much paint. All right, now let's start painting. So again, trial and error. So we're gonna see how this works. I think I might actually add some more green to this. Okay, let's try this. The thing is, if this doesn't work out, you guys aren't gonna see this at all. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, that's better. And the thing is, I don't want this to be perfect. I kind of want this to be very homemade looking. There's like bubbles and everything on it. That's absolutely fine. So if you're wanting something that is very perfect, I would recommend spray paint but I didn't want to go that route. Basically, I kind of wanted this to look more like it was moldy or, uh, I know mold doesn't look, sound right, the right word, more like fungus, succulents, things like that. So the, something that had been obviously found in the woods and then repurposed. I'm just gonna go over and kind of stipple what I want, kind of give it some more smooshing. 
that's a technical term that we're going to stick with. Even if it's not, that's what I'm going to stick with. <laughs> so now I'm going to very carefully turn it to make sure I have it exactly the way I want after I've accidentally touched it in some spots. Okay. Yeah, okay. So that's gonna be my first coat. Okay, I let it dry for about an hour. And this is after one coat. I think I'm going to do another coat and see where I get from that. So we're gonna do this again, same process. I think I'll add some more green this time and then I'll check back. point I am just going over this with as little product on here as possible and just kind of going constantly up and down kind of yeah we're already moving some of the first layer around a little bit kind of breaking that up just ever so slightly I won't completely stick. Ooh, don't do that. Trying to turn it just a little bit. Okay, so I still have some translucency at the bottom here, which is what I'm wanting. But I also have some areas of like absolute buildup which is great and I'm trying my absolute best to not get anything on my nails this is the only side that's not exactly how I want it to be actually I can just do this <laughs> actually that's okay all right all right I think this is good. It's been roughly another 30 minutes. You could probably do 30 minutes per coat, uh, between coats, I should say. And this is, yeah, that's dry. Not tacky at all. But see how you could still, well, you might not show best on this camera, but you can still see partially through it. So it's a little opaque, but not entirely transparent, which is what I was going for. So next, we're going to do the label. Since this is for a soap dispenser, I thought I would call this a hygiene potion, right? Because it makes the most sense. So I'm not gonna get too cute with it, just write however you want. Well, first of all, let me make sure that this still works. Again, you're not gonna need anything, you're not gonna need this entire piece of paper, you're just gonna need whatever's going to fit like on the side of this. You can make the label as big or as small as you want. I'm gonna write something out and see how it looks. Okay, now I'll cut it out. So that's what it ended up looking like. I think I'm going to go weather this with a um, lighter. If you do this, please be very careful. I would just do it on the edges and then blow it out. So that's what I'm going to go do. And that is now post burnt, as you can see, kind of like the edges are a little charred. All right, what you're going to do now is you're gonna take a little bit of Mod Podge Mod Podge, Mod Podge, and you're just going to need just a tiny bit. Do not add color to this one. Do not add color to this one. It will dry clear. So then you're gonna take your label. Now, admittedly, when I did this, I did this with round jars or um, basically jars without uh, ankles on it. So we're going to see how well this is going to pan out. So I have this here and first I'm going to do the back so I can kind of get that set. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go over the top of it. Now, the fact that this is white, don't worry 
this will dry clear. I promise you it will dry clear. And I go over every bit of it to saturate it because that way it is more likely to actually stay adhered to the uh, surface. See how that's now staying right there? So we're gonna do that for the other side. Get that really wet with Mod Podge and push it down. Now I'm gonna go over this again just to kind of make sure that it stays And this is also kind of acts as a sealant. You technically probably could put green over this if you wanted to, to kind of stay in theme. Actually, I might do that a little bit. Just a little bit. And I'm gonna do a little green there. Kind of make it like a little... Actually, I do like how that looks. Okay, we're gonna do that. So. This is like whatever you want to do, so whatever you think would be best for you, go ahead with it. So I'm just aging this up a little bit, making this really kind of nice and dark green and natural looking. We'll call it that, natural looking. And I'm kind of going over the white bits or the clearer parts here just to make, doubly make sure that it's going to stay greenish. And now we let this dry. All right, so it's been a little bit and I've let this dry. And this is what it looks like. So, as you can see, it's still a little opaque, but it also still looks like nature has taken its toll on it, right? So let's get everything that's not needed out of the way and remove the blue painter's tape. That did do a little, just a little bit there, so we might have to tweak that a little bit. There. And then I'll just kind of clean that up with Q-tips. So it won't be 100% perfect, but close enough, right? More concerned about the bottom. Very gently. Okay, that's one bit. The top bit I expected to pull away a bit, but the bottom, look at that. Look at that, that's pretty good. Next. I'm going to take some of this garland. I'm gonna chop off, not chop off, I should say cut off like individual leaves and start gluing them on the bottom and work my way up and see exactly how I want this to look. I don't have a plan in place for how I'm going to, exactly where I'm going to adhere the leaves. I just wanted it to kind of organically form. So I'm gonna work on that and y'all can watch. It's been about a month or so since I made this and it is held up very, very well. Um, all of the applied uh, leaves and I did apply some moss as well to this. All of it has stuck just fine. I did end up using uh, tweezers at one point. That did help quite a bit. Uh, the moss I know I added afterwards and it's still held up very very well The only thing that I did change actually was the pump itself And that was because the handle on the original pump that came with the bottle Yeah, that sounded right. You know what I mean in any case it did break off So we just replaced it with a regular one and it still works just fine So this will be sitting in my uh, guest bathroom until autumn whenever we do the changeover and i don't know if i'm going to do any diy for that one involving a soap dispenser or not 
but we'll see. If you have any DIY suggestions that you would like me to tackle, feel free to let me know and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this. Thanks so much. If you got to this point, I do appreciate every single one of you. So go after whatever your dark heart desires and I'll see you in the next one.